The Dominican Republic. Peru. Mexico. Chile. Mexico. Uh, mi familia is de Mexico. Venezuela. Brazil. Cuba. Chile. Chicago, Illinois. Athens, Greece, Maputo, Mozambique. Buenos Aires, Argentina. Puerto Rico. Colombia. I am from Guatemala. Uh, music and food, those two things go together somehow. We love to celebrate everything. Strong family ties. Pasión. Respect for the family. We're very centered on the family. La música. Uh, I feel like a lot of Latinos know and produce really great music. Dance will always bring us joy. Mariachis. Uh, they go back hundreds of years. Uh, we use the music to celebrate birthdays, baptisms, weddings, and even at funerals. Chile is at the bottom of South America, quite isolated by the Pacific Ocean and the Andes Mountains. For centuries, we have welcomed visitors with open arms. Uh, food, for instance, using this for just about every meal, um, including today for lunch, I am making us some arepas. We have onces which is a break and a snack. So whether it's between breakfast and lunch, or lunch and dinner, just take some time off and enjoy arepa y café or arepa con chocolate. El cuatro is an instrument that originates from Puerto Rico. Um, it's actually Puerto Rico's national instrument. It's a 10-string guitar and it kind of resembles a violin. But Guatemala actually has the biggest textile heritage in the world when it comes to weaving. So this is actually a shirt that one of my friends bought my son uh, in Guatemala when he was there. And you look at this shirt and you see the beautiful patterns and they're all handmade. Um, you know, really the textiles made at made in Guatemala are pieces of art. Misconceptions about the Latinx community is that we are a monolith. We come from many places in the world. That is all the same, when in fact there is quite a bit of diversity within the community at large. Culture is different all across Latin America, so that includes music, food, and even language. All the Latinos will come from poor backgrounds and we have no education. Ah, this is gonna have to be this general belief that we all eat spicy. Actually, if you ask any Dominican, I'm pretty sure 99% of us tolerance is very close to 0%. No, not everyone likes spicy food. Not everyone watches Telemundo. Please donate your time to mentor children uh, at schools, middle school, high schools, uh, belonging to low-income communities. They need to know and they need to believe that they can make a dent in the world. Educate yourself about the roots of the many groups in the community, the arts, geography, customs, even languages, so you can relate better to the community. Give back to schools and Latin communities to inspire students to dream big. Our English will always be choppy. I go home and I speak Spanish with my, with my parents. My first language was Spanish, so please be patient with us. Stop encouraging stereotypes from movies and shows. We're more than that. We're doctors, we're farmers, we're architects, we're artists. We're families. I would say how to be a better ally, to educate yourself. Understand the difference between Latinx and Hispanic and why those differences have different meanings to people um, and why it's important to people to be called one versus the other. I think another um, recommendation I would have to be a better ally is to also speak up. If you hear someone say, oh, well, I can't understand what they're saying because of their accent, 
or, oh, well, they look Mexican, say something. And it might even just be, what do you mean by that? But again, the more that we become aware and we can help others become aware, uh, the more we can change. We can change um, and impact people so that, you know, when you see someone else who's different or sounds different, it's not a bad thing. I think allies should understand what our Latin heritage brings to the United States and how multicultural we actually are. Understanding the diversity of 33 countries under the same umbrella and seeing, understanding, and celebrating the uniqueness of each one of our nations.